Shooter and Deer Singh with Through Breath Yoga in Wichita. Currently up on a lake in Colorado. I've had to step away from my normal, well, the new normal, the 2020 normal, to come un overstimulate myself. I've been very uh, locked into the digital world, trying to digitize a yoga studio and you know, it's like I'm putting a lot of effort into something and, you know, currently I'm not seeing much in return. I know in long term it's whatever. It's irrelevant. It's fine. I don't have any any expectations of it really other than to get the teachings out there and hopefully touch people and help them connect to themselves and just find that that deeper stability. You know, if, it's funny the word yoga. It means union. But yoke, Y-O-K-E, not yoke, Y-L-K. And I had pretty consistently always read that as egg yolk style yolk instead of yolk like binding yolk which is I don't know it's kind of funny because if you think about it what do we use to bake a lot of the times if you eat eggs you use eggs to bind so I guess my this interpretation was in some way accurate and I can't really judge myself for it it's human language or language is weird and easy to be misinterpreted Excuse it, there's excessive wind sound. I've done everything I can to avoid it. Um, so yeah, I recorded a lot of great videos. It's funny, I come out here to get away from electronics, but I decided to, yesterday I did a very, very beautiful hike. And I took a lot of video on it. And not even me talking, just video of me meditating and whatnot. I was going to sort of do some voiceovers with it. And my, my phone, which I'm using as a camera right now, I just wiped everything last night when it died like i lost so much I was just like oh so i spent like two hours on the phone on this beautiful trail in colorado and then i you know lost it so it's kind of like true to form i should be distance or getting away from this form of stimuli but here i am talking to you okay you know, we need to find ways to break away from electronics. Right now, I think a lot of us are kind of seeing that because we've spent most of the quarantine probably a little bit too tuned in to that. But it's hard in a time whenever we're not really supposed to get too close to each other and we need to, you know, create space around us and space to distance so we can slow this thing, I guess. It's a lot to wrap our brains around. This year has just been a absolute you know, it could be seen as a disaster to many, but if anything, it's been it's been an opportunity for some. I mean, it's like struggle financially to gain freedom and time, and it's, uh, it is a struggle. But we gotta take the time to look. Look at our surroundings, no matter where they are, and see. Do they serve us? Are we getting fulfilled with our lives? Are we satisfied in any way? You know, and if we're not, is it our environment? Or is it you, me? Is it the individual self? Are you taking time for self-care? Are you, are you making your body solid so your mind can become solid? Are you taking time to just sort of sit down and do nothing? Not TV, not video games, not reading, just to truly do nothing, just to sit in silence for a moment, you know, it's a, it's a good practice to get into, and it's really hard for us in the West to do that, because, you know, we kind of like, our meditation time is Netflix, <laughs> Hulu, Amazon Prime, you know, gone way are the day of cables to most of us, because we don't want to pay that much, you know, and for the longest time, I mean, I would watch, I can't even fathom how much TV I used to watch because I still watch a little bit too much and yeah I, uh, I used to watch a lot more there's a it's interesting every time I go on one of these adventures I find myself completely not addicted to TV when I get home and then I'll slowly let it back in and in no time I'm watching like two or three hours a day which is too much like honestly even if you have 23 23 free hours in a day three of those hours being TV is entirely too much you know unless if you're trying to educate yourself and if it's a good way that you really absorb information of course there's always exceptions to the norm or exceptions to what is said but no 
addiction. And it seems like I'm bouncing all over the place here. Addiction is such a rampant thing here in the West. We find it in youth just right now through tablets, cell phones, video games. You know, we're just cramming media in our face hours and hours and hours and hours every day and then we somehow don't know why we're not happy we don't we don't know why we're not you just feel lost it's because we stay lost in cyberspace and when you're lost in cyberspace you're not connected to your surroundings you're not connected to yourself there's this disconnect between your head and your body and to really flourish as a human being we have to connect to ourself i know i've said that before i'll say it again you know, we have to practice mindfulness we have to practice being with ourselves we have to practice you know just tuning in and figuring out what is it what is it that you need what is it that you that your body needs that your brain needs like we have all these crazy mental illnesses and one of the major ones is addiction and i think addiction feeds to others so when you look at it they say facebook leads to depression anxiety things like that so does tv you know it's a uh, very much so a multiple way street so it's sort of a snowball and you start to become depressed you start to become anxious and then you just watch more tv you play more video games and before you know it i mean i used to spend i know for a fact eight hours a day if not more like in media and that was outside of work so it was like i was in this tizzy i wasn't really living life you know what is life life is things like this experiences life is finding solid connections with other individuals and finding that sort of connection between all of us you know because we all kind of want the same things we want to be happy we want to be healthy we want to live our lives and you know be able to find joy you know to the root no matter what side of a political scale you're on no matter what side of a religious scale you're on whether you are a practice meditator or a day one whether you will consider yourself a yogi or you don't consider yourself anything i think labels can be mis they can hurt as much as they help it's interesting, uh, the school of yoga I studied, they have an acronym for the word God, generate, organize, destroy. So uh, we kind of feel that God is in, in all of us. And if you really look at humanity, like we have the power to generate. We can generate so much, so much good, so much bad, so much indifference. We also have a high capacity for organization. I mean, just look at what we've managed. We've completely like changed the shape of the earth. Not the shape of the earth. The, uh, you know, we're, shaped, we're, we're changing what the landscape looks like fairly significantly, especially in the Western societies and Eastern now. You know, the modernized, I suppose, would be a good word for it. And we have an infinite power of destruction. And a lot of that destruction comes from our generation and our organization. So, you know, I really don't have all the answers, but what, what I have and what yoga has is tools to help you really find stability, find peace, find grace in your life. They're just so powerful. So, so incredibly powerful for helping you connect. And to not lose touch. And to not be completely disassociated. I hope that you can find something that works for you. And you know, everybody looks different. Everybody is different. There is something for everybody but if somebody tells you their way is the only way mm, probably not because there's a lot of ways there's a lot of footsteps that have been taken throughout human history and you know what there's a lot of knowledge and to completely wash your like close your eyes to any of it for any reason can, can be very very destructive towards you know growth because when you put yourself in a box you get trapped in that box. Thank you for listening today. I hope that you find stability through this time and these challenges. And I hope that we, as the human race, the species of humans, can find our stability as a whole and make peace with Mother Nature. Thank you. Namaste.